This is an easy breezy video about this adorable mini Juno, the JU06A. Yes, it does have its limits, AKA you can't chain patterns together with the sequencer and also there's only four note polyphony, but it does have its strong points. Personally, I'm attracted to the arpeggio in combination with the sequencer. It's, it can get very synth wavy at least in today's example, but it's also just a lot more diverse than that. It's been one of my go-tos for music that I'm actually releasing officially. For example, I post lush JU06A arpeggios on Instagram and TikTok as well. You guys really seem to like it, so I figured I should break it down here and just give a walkthrough demonstration of how to put something like this together with the baby Juno. Quick rundown of the setup. Obviously the sounds are coming from the JU06A. All I'm doing is hitting arpeggio, hold, and chord. Hit a note. Oftentimes I'll do the same thing, arpeggio, hold, chord, and then I'll just press play on the sequencer. There's a few little tricks here that I'll show you along the way. I'm running through the microcosm. I'm sure that you guys already know that this is the secret cherry on top of any synth really, not so secret anymore. I'm just gonna quickly settle on a setting with the microcosm. Starting point for now. I am MIDI synced to tempo here with the microcosm, in which case I'll have to use a sequencer in order for it to track. If I just play a note randomly, it's not tracking. Because chaining patterns together is not possible, I pretty much always go with half speed, half tempo. So in this case, I'm at 45. That way you get double the length of your patterns. We're probably just gonna stick to one pattern for now. All right, let's find a sound. Step two is to come up with a sequence to vibe with. We'll head to the sequencer. I could just plug in notes here if I want. Let's go to C and make this one an F. Just random, let's try it out. This already sits with me so well, but there's also chord mode we could mess around with. Uh, we'll just change the quality of the chord.
so easy to work with. I really just feel like I can't go wrong with this thing. This video just ended up being a big jam. I hope you guys don't mind that. <laughs> and just to give you a before and after, I'm gonna turn off the arpeggio, hold, and chord mode, turn off the microcosm. This is what it sounds like when I just play the sequencer. Let's turn it on. So as you can see, I could just go on with this all day. Too easy. Thanks so much for being here. This video was a little bit more on the jammy side, but hopefully it was inspiring in some way to you. Sometimes these types of videos are more informative because you really get to see the hands-on approach to the instrument, how it actually sounds and responds. And so let me know if you like this format and if you want me to do it more. I'm releasing a lot more music these days. I'd love for you guys to check it out. Hope that you subscribe if you think this video was worth your time. If you're interested in purchasing either the JU06A or the Microcosm, there's a Perfect Circuit affiliate link linked in the description as well. If you end up using that link, I make a small commission from that sale at no extra charge to you. It's just one of the best ways of supporting this channel. So yeah, thanks in advance. Keep on synthing, stay inspired, and hope to see you guys soon.